We're here today outside Liverpool Football Club, um, just by the COP, and we're talking to passers-by about the Anfield project, what the proposals are for the area, and getting a sense of what they think and to see what they would like to happen. So as you can see, we've created a little bit of a garden in the city. We want people to want to come and sit down and spend time with us, and it's really about having a good conversation. Well, I suppose my job is to manage and deliver the client's brief and the client's brief was to develop a community engagement strategy for Anfield uh, to engage as many people as possible on the Anfield project and the vision and the collection of ideas. So we developed a community engagement strategy and with SOMO, you know, recognising their expertise in this area, brought them in to deliver a lot of the engagement. We've been asking the question, you know, what do you think? And, and what we've been really been doing is trying to make sure that that residents can find an opportunity to tell us what they think so you know from knocking on doors to being out and about in the community and somebody came this morning and said that one of the things he liked most about the Anfield project newsletter was the map on the back which showed you all the places you could get involved. There's a lot of people from the streets around here who see us and want to come over and talk to us about what we're doing and the sorts of things they're telling us is that um, when they see the proposals they, they think it's a good thing for the area. Much of what's proposed they really want to see happen. But obviously for many people living around these streets, they've been waiting for a long, long time to, to know what's happening to the area. And, and their first and foremost um, a concern is what's happening outside their front door. What's happening to their street? What's happening to their properties? And I think what we're doing is we're also going out with some of our partners from your housing and the local authority to try and make sure that as we're picking up those issues, we can answer those questions. And we're visiting our tenants personally so that we can deal with some of the housing issues that have come up and also ensure that we've got as many residents feeding into this process as possible. The staff are out on, on site this morning. This afternoon we're visiting people who are looking to be rehoused in the area that are affected by some of the proposals and we're very much given a tailored one-on-one -on -one service. One of the reasons why I was really keen to take this job on is I'm from the area. I've, I've you know, seen uh, you know, the fact that there's been quite a few kinds of false dawns in the past and I was really keen to get involved and make sure it made a difference this time. It's so obviously that, you know, people are a bit disillusioned, but, but quite a lot of the comments are a bit more about is it really going to happen this time rather than just not wanting to engage in the vision at all. Over the six weeks that we're engaging, it's like there can't really be a place where we haven't been or you couldn't be, so we've been in doctor's surgeries, churches, shopping centres, knocking on local doors, you know, in schools, summer fates, we've been, we've been out and everywhere as an attempt to kind of make sure that if people do want to have a say, there is somewhere local to them where they would get a say each and every week. We want people to come and want to live, invest and want to work in the area. We want jobs that people can, can have, training opportunities and we want people to talk about Anfield in a positive way. Yes, we've got a football stadium, but we want to talk about the, the image, the area and the offer that's available.